Some fetishes are just stumbled upon. Uh, for instance, my girlfriend and I are into public play, but not for any rush, more out of necessity. You see, I'm a single father with full custody of three children, and after divorce, I moved in with my parents. So I share a room with my 15-year-old son. Uh, and my girlfriend's from out of town, so anytime she's in town, we just gotta get creative on where we make out. Um, one of our favorite places to make out is in my driveway, like teenagers. Uh, the problem is I have actual teenagers in the house who apparently are also trying to use the driveway <laughs> to make out. So one night after a date, we're back at my house. Um, we are having a intercourse of the finger variety. Uh, she's facing me in like the back seat. I'm facing her and like the front um, knuckles deep inside of her. Um, she is so close to orgasm. So close. I mean, we've got like fingering faces on, you guys. Like the faces of the finger and the faces of the finger, just full blast. Um, the next few moments, almost like so much happens, but it was like in a short period of time. Like suddenly she like gasps and like says like, I think a car just pulled up behind us, which makes me open my eyes and see my teenage daughter sneaking out of the house, staring right at us. I don't know how long she stood there. Even if it was just a split second of fingering face, it was too much for my comfort. Um, but then like the most interesting thing happened, it's like you don't get to bust your kids sneaking out of the house very often, right? So I was kind of like, ha ha. Um, but then she kind of saw me and was like, oh shit. Um, and then like we quickly had this like reverse where it's like she realized that I was doing some nefarious shit too. And suddenly she was like emboldened. Like she started to turn back towards the house and was like, wait a minute, what's this motherfucker doing? <laughs> so she almost like straightens her posture, like turns around and just walks directly to the car. And I'm like, bold move, kid, bold move. But my fingers are still inside my girlfriend, so I didn't really want her approaching the car at this time. But then now she's sitting in the car behind me. I can't finish the job with my teenager right behind me. So now it turns into this weird, like, generational game of chicken. Like, who's gonna go in first? Who's deciding this is most awkward, right? Um, and at some point, my girlfriend's like, you know what, I should just, it's late, I should just go in. I'm like, you stay there. We cannot let these teenagers win. <laughs> like, she doesn't have kids, uh, so this is new to her. This is a new experience, right? I'm just like, no, listen, this is the parental thing. We have to out embarrass her. She can't drive us out of here. So we stay. The longest time goes by, I'm just like, what is this kid doing? Please hurry. Uh, and then I'm, I have this moment, like, okay, when she walks back, like, should I say something to her? Like, should I acknowledge it, you know? And I'm like, kind of roll the window down, like ready to speak if she looks at me. But I've decided like, I'm only gonna talk to her if she like looks me in the eye. And if she doesn't look me in the eye, we're just gonna pretend like this never happened. Uh, so I see her like get out of the car. She starts heading in and like, the parent in me is like, look at me. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna like scold you or something. But like the me and me is like, do not look me in the eye, kid. Just keep on walking. Um, and like a true Clark, uh, she just kept on walking. Like, we'll deal with that shit later down the road <laughs> in therapy, right? Uh, so we outlasted her, she went inside, and my girlfriend was just like, this was amazing. Um, she said, I just got caught fucking by a teenager. Does that make me a stepmom now? <laughs> like, yes. Yes, baby, that makes you a stepmom. So now I'm in a new fetish, I'm into stepmoms now. Um, so flash forward a couple weeks, we're scared of the driveway now. Now we're doing it like the regular pervs in parks, right? So we're in a park doing the same thing. Once again, fingering real close. Um, deja vu, another car pulls up real close to us, but this time uh, it's a cop. Um, and I don't like cops, so we decide it's time to leave, right? So just, and there's other cars there they can harass. So I like back up and I'm driving off. Um, but then the cop like flashes their lights at me and like made it clear they wanted me to stop and I'm like, oh shit, okay. So we're stopped, the cops come up to us, like, hey, what are you guys doing? I'm like, just uh, spending time with my girlfriend. Like, don't put your nose in here or, you know, 
but he's like shining the flashlight around, like looking at my back seat. He like takes our driver's license, like scans our license to make sure, you know, we don't have warrants out or anything, and like comes back and is like, you guys are, you guys are free to go. Like, I have to ask though, why did you drive off real suspicious like when we came? And I wanted to be like, look, it's teenage flashbacks for my daughter, okay? But, uh, and I also wanted to say, because you're fucking cops and who wants to finger their girlfriend with cops next to you? But instead I just said, uh, it was just, it was time to leave, sir. And it's time to leave now. I'm TJ Clark, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>